pleasure to meet y'all at last, and welcome back to Why Is That 2.0. And now here on Why Is That 2.0, let me just go on ahead and start talking about a couple things about Twitter and Instagram. But of course, where's the question for it, you may ask? Well, it's right down here. It simply asks, why is that you consider Twitter and Instagram to be your right and left hand go-to sites for social media itself? Now, to that, of course, it's a pretty darn good question, but it is going to come with a complex answer. So, of course, if you want to stick around to it, that's totally fine. So, you know what? Let's just go ahead and dive on into it as deep as possible. To start all the way back from the beginning, between both of those in general, Twitter, of course, first came to mind around the same time that it was first invented. Of course, I had already been a pretty big user of the internet by the year 2006. Because, after all, I was first introduced to computers when I was only just a year old. And eventually cameras of both photographic and videographic capabilities also came around in my life when I was very young. But, of course, the internet itself, in full swing and full tilt, came around my life by the time I was six years old. It had really gone into full swing, and tons of websites were coming all over the place. And by the time that I was six years old, YouTube was already out there. Of course, it was created for the first time by a few PayPal employees, and by the time Google had purchased it, we had already had a lot of things to do on there. Fred Figglehorn's channel was established. The official channel for the Big Brother game show was also established in 2005, and a few others here and there. But of course, as for Twitter itself, I had first logged onto that website at the age of only seven years old in August of 2006. Yeah. That would technically make Kaiju Force Neo 1.0, and yeah, I just said that. Because 2.0 is already taken effect and has become the next generation Kaiju Force Neo official Twitter account. And of course, I might as well talk more about that some other time. There actually have been some questions that I've gotten about that, but hardly any of them were why is that based. So we're just going to leave those out here at the moment. But as for, well, Twitter itself, I would certainly say that by today's standards, with so many things going on around it in the 14 years it's been around, I'm very confident that a lot of things are going to happen. I'm also really confident in the fact that I'm going to have a large number of followers again like I had before. My last follower count, based on the fact that I had a 13-year-old Twitter account at the time, was just nearing 29,000. That's a lot of people. That is many times more than the body count of 9-11. And yeah, I do feel pretty bad for making that sort of comparison. But you know what? It is what it is. But as for Instagram, it was something that would have come way more recent in my life. Nearly eight years would follow after my first Twitter account would have been established in August of 2006. But by the time I turned 15, I had already known what Instagram was. It was, in fact, just a subsidiary of Facebook at the time. And, of course, it still continues to be operated by Facebook itself. But in terms of how it works today, Instagram has had a lot more capabilities now than it did back then. It was just a simple snap a picture, put up a description, put on a filter, put on a caption, a tagline, or anything else in general. And just upload it to the internet. But in terms of how it first came around, I had, of course, started my first account on Instagram. And it's actually the only account that I have on Instagram in June 2014. Sometime after my 15th birthday. So technically it was a bit of a 15th birthday gift for myself at the time. And I will imply really quickly that the app itself has gotten itself a lot of good things going on there. But in terms of Instagram and its functionality compared to Twitter, I'm just not entirely sure about it compared to Twitter. Because after all, my follower account 
is not even above 200. And that's kind of a big deal for me. Because after all, Twitter followers come all the time. Because that network has been around for many years more than Instagram has. So I can kind of understand how Instagram is not as popular, being that it's not even close to being as old as Twitter. It's probably only like half of the age at this point. But the thing about it is that Instagram had a whole new level of interactivity that I could mess around with all the time. I could simply play around with the app for hours at a time, and I would be able to do so much with it. I could play around with the filters, and I could simply put, just simply understand the fact that a concept derived from one of the biggest ever social media networks possible was a pretty good idea. Facebook surely took it big when they came up with Instagram. But you know what? I guess there's a lot more that I have to talk about based on my social media accounts in general, but we'll wait until another time. But if you want to see more, go down to my channel. Make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.